you guys like this mug? My wife made it for me. It says the Elegant Oxford. And on the back it says, hashtag shine your shoes. So, I think it's really cool. I use it to drink my juice sometimes. Yeah, that's what I told you. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Elegant Oxford. In today's video, it's just a little bit more relaxed today. Uh, it's almost Christmas time, so I'm just taking it easy. Uh, but today I'm actually gonna do my first reaction to a video. <laughs> A lot of you have been sending me online. Uh, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, a lot of you say there's some type of comedic <laughs> comedic element to this shoe shine tutorial that you want me to watch. Um, so it's called a uh, US Navy boot shining trick. And it has over a million views. So I, I really don't know what to expect. Uh, so I'm just gonna watch this video and then I'm gonna be pausing it just to give you my thoughts and uh, yeah, I really don't know what else to say. I, I just really, <laughs> I really don't know what to think. So let's get started and I will let you know um, what I think about it, okay? So here we go. And my boots are always pretty crazy shiny and a lot of people ask how I do it. Um, I definitely cheat, but it consists of parade gloss and Aussie hairspray. Okay, so right away I'm already seeing something <laughs> kind of weird. Uh, so the person who's done this video has said it's a shoe shining tutorial. Um, she's a student somewhere, I'm assuming a type of military school of some kind. Uh, but she's using hairspray to shine her shoes. Uh, so I really don't know what to expect. Um, I've never heard of anyone using hairspray to shine their shoes. Um, so I think that's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of comical. Uh, but let me just continue on the video and see what she does because I'm I'm really intrigued now. So first you're gonna take your parade gloss. I use the lighter to just kind of like heat it up so it just... Okay so right away I'm seeing something I do not recommend you do and that's using direct fire, direct heat or a flame to melt your wax so it's easier to spread around the shoe. This is an old method. You see it on shoe shiners on street corners, but I don't recommend it because uh, direct heat, you know, fire can actually cause the solvents in the wax to evaporate. And although this doesn't happen with every brand, um, once it, all the solvents evaporate, a lot of waxes are just no good. They become too hard, uh, too rigid, and they're just not good for shining anymore. So I don't recommend you do that. If any of you have watched my tutorials, you know that I recommend using water and rubbing alcohol mixed together. Um, this serves the same purpose. It, it kind of melts the wax down once it's on the toe cap and it helps to bring out that shine a lot quicker. So I don't recommend using fire, but if you're just gonna do a quick military street shine, I guess it's better than nothing. Um, and I'm sure there are people out there who do a really perfect job with it, but I just don't recommend it personally. So let's keep watching. You're gonna take just a cloth. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be like, a soft cotton polishing cloth or anything like that just this is actually a rag like a wash rag and you're just gonna rub it on the boots you don't have to make it shiny but you do want to make sure that it rubs in okay so she's applying some shoe polish some shoe wax onto the shoe to keep it moisturized to keep the leather healthy I think that's totally fine um, wax isn't the best for nourishing leather but it's better than nothing in reality so Ideally, you'd like, you would want a uh, shoe cream or a leather conditioner, but shoe wax is just fine. I think as long as you're applying that, it's better than nothing, and it's better than just wearing the shoe forever without ever doing anything. Because remember, if the leather cracks, that's it. There's really no real remedy for that. So make sure you keep your shoes conditioned and shine just to preserve the leather so it lasts you for a long time. Well, you're gonna take the hairspray and shake it up a little bit. And then um, I usually just start with the tip of the boot. You're just gonna spray it in even like wasping coat until it starts to get shiny. And then I go down the side. Okay, so she's applying hairspray to the boot, which is, I think, complete blasphemy. Blasphemy! I'm <laughs> just kidding. Obviously, it's a method I've never heard of. Um, but I can't imagine hairspray would actually work long term. I can't imagine that it hardens very well, unlike wax polish. So, um, and for those who've been in the military who've told me about how drill instructors would actually inspect your shoe, I can't imagine that uh, hairspray gets hard enough. It would just wipe off pretty easily. So, um, 
I'm actually gonna go and try this myself. I, I just can't believe it. I have to go to the store and I'm gonna get this exact hairspray. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna try it myself because I'm really intrigued now and I wanna know if it works. Okay, so let me just finish off the rest of the video and see what else is done. Okay, so I finished the video and there's nothing else to be done. You use the hairspray, you let it dry five, 10 minutes and then you add another coat and that's about it. Um, she did mention that you shouldn't use this method if you're walking through rain or through adverse weather because it'll just, it'll, it won't work, it'll wipe off or something. So um, as I suspected, I don't think it's gonna be a very viable option um, and I'm gonna go try it myself, um, but I, I can't imagine it working very well. And if you're just gonna shine your shoes, you might as well just do the traditional method and that way it'll, it'll last you a while. Okay, so let me go um, find this hairspray and then I'm gonna come back. I have my Park Avenues here and uh, I'm gonna use these and I'm gonna experiment on them. Um, one of them is gonna get the hairspray method and the other one's gonna get the good old shoe shine and then I'm gonna compare the methods and let you know what I think. All right, and we are off to Target. And you know the Target curse. You can't walk in and just buy one thing. You end up buying the entire store. I think that's probably why I like Walmart better and it's cheaper overall. So uh, yeah, don't judge me. So I went to Target and I found the closest hairspray that I could to the one in the video. So apparently the hairspray that's featured in the video is no longer being produced, but I made sure that it had a three out of four on the maximum hold scale, which is exactly the same as the one in the video. So it's not identical, but it's the only one they make now. Um, it's the same brand, Aussie, so uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Um, these are my Park Avenues. I stripped them down completely to the bare leather. So this pair is going to be getting the hairspray and this pair is going to be getting the traditional shine and then we can uh, check out how it's going. I'm like so nervous right now. So uh, yeah, here we go. Whoa, this is, <laughs> this is actually really shiny. Oh, kind of shocked. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let it dry. Uh, I'm gonna give it about 10 to 15 minutes to let it completely dry. I'm kind of shocked at how glossy it looks. Um, <laughs> I really didn't know it was gonna happen, um, but so far it looks pretty darn glossy. I'm kind of shocked. So let me let it dry and then I'll come back to it and then um, we'll continue to see what, uh, what's going on here. Hey everybody, so I decided to leave the uh, shoes to dry overnight. The hairspray actually went on really, really glossy as you could see. It was almost the best mirror shine I had ever seen so quickly. Um, but what I did notice was that the hair, the hairspray wasn't drying very quickly. In fact, I waited 15 to 20 minutes and it was still really sludgy. So I decided to let them dry because I really want to present the strongest possible version of this technique. I don't want to just write it off because who knows, it might actually work. So I want to do a good faith attempt, uh, be really charitable with how I do it so that if it does work, I can let you know. So I'm going to come back home and then I'm going to add extra layers if I have to. But I just want to make sure that I'm not writing it off so quickly and before I debunk the hairspray for a shoe shine technique, okay? I'm actually going to be pretty honest, when I applied the hairspray, it was so glossy that I was actually kind of worried. I thought, what if this actually works? I went in thinking this was just a terrible idea, but we'll see. Uh, as soon as I get home, I will check on the shoes and I'll make my final assessment. Okay, first off, I'm sorry for that car alarm going off in the background. It's literally been going off for like five, six hours. I just don't know what's going on. But I left the shoes uh, to dry and here's the result. Okay, so... It's actually dried. It feels like, it doesn't feel as hard as wax. Uh, it's still kind of slick, but it, it, it seems to be dry. Um, and then last night I added a layer, I let it dry 10 minutes, added another layer, let it dry 10 minutes, and added one final. So this is three layers, um, and it looks pretty shiny. I mean, it's not as shiny as when I first applied the, the hairspray, just like in the video. Um, uh, the girl said that it wouldn't stay that shiny and she was right. So, I mean, it looks pretty shiny, I'm not gonna lie. I, it, it, so as you can tell, okay, so here's the rest of the shoe. It's still dull, I haven't added any. And then as you get to the front here, the vamp, 
and the toe cap, it's pretty dang shiny. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna say I'm pretty impressed here. Um, yeah, pretty amazing. Smells like hairspray. <laughs> okay, actually I already see an issue. I accidentally ran my nail over here and it started to flake a little bit. So actually, let me show you. All right, you see that? I literally just ran my nail really softly and it's already flaking and scratching. Okay, so that might be a problem. Um, yeah, so this is probably not a great idea. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, so I have a little bit of water here and we're gonna simulate, you know, you're just walking by and a little sprinkle of water gets on your toe cap. Happens all the time, it's very common. So one, two, three. And it's, this is exactly what I knew it was gonna happen. It's, it's already running, it's changing color. So the hairspray is not gonna work, I don't think. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's bubbling, it's raising up. So this isn't a very good idea, and I'm gonna be honest, if you're wearing dress shoes, it's very likely that you're gonna get something on them, whether it's a sprinkle of water from the water fountain even, from a water bottle, it doesn't matter, you're just gonna get water on them. And if this is the result, this is not a good thing at all, okay? So if I'm just gonna spread it around my finger, and it's already starting to smell stronger. All right, so let's just add Okay, so if water alone can do all this, it's probably not a great idea. Um, <clears throat> in defense of the person who made the video, um, I think that if it's an emergency, uh, I mean, even then, I just, you can perform a shine very quickly. I don't think it, it's at all needed to use hairspray. And uh, right now, I'm gonna be using this other shoe and I'm gonna be shining it normally. Um, just so I can compare. Okay, so this didn't work out. Uh, as soon as you add water, it bubbles up. Um, it starts to run, as you can see, and it, it just doesn't work overall. So this would not be a good idea. If you got water on your shoes and you had hairspray on them, you would immediately be able to tell that you use some type of product. So honestly, it's a quick fix, if that even, but it's still not a very good idea. Okay, so I stripped the shoe down and got all the, the hairspray off. And let me tell you, it did not come off easily, okay? It was, I don't know what happened. It was pretty on there and it took a lot of acetone to get off. So the shoe's pretty dry. Um, the leather's for sure been through the ringer. So I'm gonna start off using Renovator, which is, in my opinion, the best leather conditioner out there. And it really just does fantastic. Make sure to just get that leather and really nourish it, okay? So it just takes one coat. You can do this pretty quickly, actually. Just apply it with your fingers and massage it in with some firm pressure. Just use a little bit here. Okay. It's okay if you get a little bit of excess. It'll just wipe off or absorb into the leather. All right, as you can see, Renovator leaves a nice soft glow. All right, now to introduce some Lost Pigment, a little bit of black MDO cream. It's gonna help a lot. The shoe is looking a lot better now. Now it's time for the wax. All right, so we're just gonna use traditional black wax. Okay. And if you've watched my mirror shine videos, you know that I'm gonna be adding a lot of layers here, so. Now remember, this is just to build up the initial base so the mirror shine happens a lot quicker, okay? Doesn't take very long. Just adding layers and making sure you get all the little nooks, crannies, and crevices. And while you're at it, add a layer of wax to the whole shoe.
for protection and for a higher shine. It shouldn't take very long. You can do this quickly. Okay. Just keep adding layers back and forth. And this is where solvents really come in. The solvents just allow you to apply the, the wax really easily. And I really like Pat Deluxe by Saphir because it's a really good solvent content. It just makes it a lot easier. All right, like always, a little bit of alcohol water. Okay, a little bit of ice water and the wax. All right, as you can see in a matter of a few minutes, you're already getting a mirror shine. So it's not that hard, it doesn't take a very long time. If you wanna get a perfect mirror shine, it is gonna take a little bit of time, but this is sufficient already to wear. Um, just really wanna drive that point home that you don't need to just use hairspray if, if you have an inspection coming or you really wanna present yourself with some shiny shoes. Just do it the right way. And uh, if something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. So just make sure you keep shining and you just do your best. I mean, there's really, <laughs> I think people have been trying to find ways to do things, you know, easily for a long time. But for a lot of things, especially important stuff, it just takes time. It takes patience and it takes tenacity. So, so not perfect at all, but already a mirror shine. <gasps> So let's see how shiny I can get these. Ooh, I actually <laughs> really liked how these turned out. Really glossy, really reflective. Now, this isn't my best work and it doesn't look 100%, but overall I am really satisfied with how this mirror, mirror shine came out. Uh, you can see me there in the reflection uh, showing the shoe off. So um, yeah, I think the results speak for themselves. I really don't think there's a question about what you should do. So here's the hairspray for you to see it one more time. Reflective, of course, but when you compare it to the real thing, it is a no-brainer. There is absolutely no competition. So, hashtag shine your shoes. <laughs> okay, I think we can call the hairspray method thoroughly debunked. As if you needed a video by good old me to let you know that, though. I think it's pretty obvious that you shouldn't use hairspray on your shoes. Hello? Anybody home? Hey! Think with flies! But, um, I think it's, you know, if someone wants a quick shine and they just YouTube how to shine shoes, they might get that video and think, why not? I have hairspray nearby. But it's always good to just do the work. Remember, uh, quick fixes usually end up costing you long term. Uh, so use traditional wax polish and cream polish. And if you know me, I recommend Saphir. I sell it on TheElegantOxford.com. So if you want to support the channel, go on over and do that. As you can see, uh, traditional wax works perfect and it will last you a really long time. And if you ever get slight micro creases in the wax as you walk, just come home and use a hair dryer or a heat gun and just melt it back down. Quick, easy fix. Shine it back up, doesn't take more than five minutes. I have a video, in fact, where I take a hammer to the mirror shine and I shine it back up really quickly. So it's not a big deal um, and it'll, you know, it's gonna be just fine. So, um, yeah, don't use hairspray. If you're one of those guys that actually owns uh, really nice and expensive shoes, you don't wanna be using hairspray either. So these are actually uh, by Yeosol and I'm doing a review on these pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. But if you own a good pair of shoes like these, are hand welted, hand lasted, 
you don't want to be using hairspray on this on these type of shoes okay so the hairspray actually bonded with the park avenues on the leather and i couldn't get it off easily so i just not good for leather don't do it it's gonna not be good for your shoes long term so i hope you had fun with this video i hope everyone's doing great today as i'm filming is actually new year's day so i hope you all had a great new year's uh i hope you had a great holiday season a merry christmas and I really want to thank you all for watching the videos, commenting, and supporting The Elegant Oxford. If you'd like to see another video like this, comment down below. Uh, send me videos that you want me to react to. And there's a, a lot of shoe shining stuff out there. And some of it's pretty, you know, it's kind of crazy. So let me know. Thanks again for supporting the channel. And I hope you all have a very great 2021. And I will see you next video. Have a great one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share for more content in the future. Visit TheElegantOxford.com if you'd like to purchase any of the shoe products you've seen me use. Make sure to check out my other videos as well if you'd like to learn more about the art of the shoe shine. Don't forget to look for me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Elegant Oxford. Remember to care for your shoes so they'll last you for years to come. Always put your best foot forward. The small details matter most, so don't forget to hashtag shine your shoes. I'll see you next time.